All right, we're back. Where were we? All right, I was teasing that pyramid in the background over there at the end of the last video. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick. As always, you can call me Touch Ninja, and we are once again back playing some early gameplay from Assassin's Creed Origins on Xbox One X development kit at 4K. And by the looks of it, probably 30 frames per second. It doesn't look like 60 frames, but it still looks pretty quality in my personal opinion. So the theme for this video is going to be a dungeon. And so I've been kind of trying to do, arrange these videos in a way that each video has its own theme, so everything's a little bit more cohesive, I'm not all over the place. The first video we did tackled the main mission. We got introduced to Bayek and his wife Aya. In the second episode, we tackled a side mission to get a little bit acquainted with the city of Memphis. And in this video, as you can see as we jump in here, we're going to be tackling a dungeon inside a pyramid. And the dungeons are something that I have severely missed from the modern day or more recent Assassin's Creed games. They were really common in their earlier iterations of the game, Assassin's Creed 1, basically all the way to the end of the Ezio collection. But they've kind of taken a back seat and moved away from them because they didn't really fit into the settings of the newer games. So I'm so glad that they're back. This specific one, this pyramid right here, is definitely not the biggest pyramid in all of Egypt and it de definitely does not have any free running moments to it while you're chasing a guy down and the puzzle is actually it's a simple weight puzzle to get around and at the end of it you're still rewarded with loot and as well as a treasure but uh, like I said I wouldn't just because this dungeon may be small don't take that into account of what the final game would be because there are a lot of other larger pyramids in the background that I will actually try to access later but it's actually corded off by an invisible wall that was blocked off by the game demo so I tried my best I tried my best to bring you guys as much as I possibly could but I got that all C block from the developers <laughs> so yeah and I was so in this video I also wanted to talk about what was probably my biggest concerns when I was playing this game, like what I didn't actually like. So I kind of touched on this a little bit. Probably my biggest concern is the main character, Bayek. Um, even though he does have a pretty, seems like a loving relationship with his wife, Aya. The, he's still, he's a Magi. So it makes sense that he's supposed to be a very strong, stoic, silent leader. Or, or main character um, but they've already tried to do that once in Assassin's Creed 3 and I personally didn't think that it paid off I found that the character of Connor until you got to like the very end of the game uh, was very bland and not really memorable at all and I'm kind of getting the same feel of this from uh, uh, from Bayek and I'm just really hoping that maybe in the earlier parts of the game that some stuff happens to him or he grows in some way to make him more basically endearing to the player and that's probably my biggest concern and despite the issues that Syndicate and more notably Unity had with like the missing uh, textures of faces and all that type of stuff uh, what's really promising to me for this game is that first off they're having these pre-release events um, with the release of Unity which was probably the most buggiest Assassin's Creed game out there at launch. Uh, they didn't have any pre-release events for those games and it kind of showed when the game finally came out there was a reason why. Um, but what also kind of gives me confidence not only the fact that there is um, pre-events for previewing this game, it's also the fact that the lead director of this game, I'm gonna completely butcher his name right here, uh, Azraf Ishmael, he was actually the lead director, his last Assassin's Creed that he directed was Assassin's Creed 4 uh, Black Flag. He did work a little bit on Unity and Syndicate in the background, but he was not the lead director. And if you guys remember, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is probably regarded as the last widely accepted Assassin's Creed good Assassin's Creed game that was actually very good. It was an exceptional game in my personal opinion. It was definitely when it released, it was like either top two or top three of for me in games that released that year. It was an incredible experience. Um, I absolutely love the uh, the main character. 
and I also the, the naval combat was also awesome. So the fact that his team is leading the charge of this game really gives me hope that it's going to be a quality game in terms of its technical aspects as well as the gameplay. I think we're basically just touching the surface right now of some of the amazing gameplay that we're going to encounter, but maybe I'm just being an over uh, <laughs> overexcited Assassin's Creed fanboy, but I think with a strong a, a good game needs a strong director uh, a strong director and I think he did an awesome job in the previous game as well. So we're reaching the end of this fairly short temple. Once again, it's still one of the smaller pyramids in the area. So I think it was just kind of to get our, our feet wet a little bit in terms of the exploration. And at the end of this dungeon, we get our sweet reward. And in most modern day gaming, sweet rewards just means RNG loot. It's, uh, it's basically becoming the norm these days in video games to have some sort of RNG based loot system. So unlike previous games where the treasures are always set to specific items, uh, the treasures in this game are based on an RNG system. So it's completely randomized what weapons and items that you're gonna get. You have a high percent chance of getting legendary or purple items, but the actual items themselves specifically in terms of what weapon they're gonna be is completely randomized. Um, so I was watch I played my gameplay and then I watched the guy right beside me who's around the same area and he got the same quality of items but they were just different things. So in this playthrough I got an axe as well as a shield which is pretty cool. Uh, I, I do equip them, but once again, I can't show you guys the menu screen because it's locked off by embargo. It works pretty well. It's pretty cool. Very intuitive to use. And that probably brings me to my next thing is that what I'm concerned with is anytime you have an RNG based game and based on my experiences with the previous two games with Syndicate and Unity, it kind of opens the door that there will most likely be some sort of microtransactions in this game. It's, I, have a, I have a tough time saying microtransaction. It puts a little bit of a pit in my heart, especially in single player focused games. Uh, this game doesn't even have a multiplayer, so yeah, microtransactions in single player games, they just gross me out. But yeah, it is what it is. It's 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 just what it is in 2017. It's microtransactions and huge day one patches. And that's, yeah. So, um, on a more positive note, I've exited the dungeon, and since we were at a pyramid, I decided that I would try to take in the views of getting to the very top. I, what I was trying to plan to do was I was trying to recreate that epic slide down the side of the pyramid that was in the trailers that all the cool kids see into um, but this one is actually too small and every single time that you hit a handhold you who just uh, Bayek would just auto grab it so I'm hoping that maybe when you get to some of the larger pyramids in the game you'll be able to pull it off but the guy the guy helping me said that yeah you can't really do it on this pyramid that well but you do get a sweet view like that. Um, once again, this game is absolutely gorgeous. That draw distance to the city is absolutely insane. And that pyramid right there with the multiple levels is something that I tried to go to next. But it ends up being that there, like I said earlier, there's like an invisible black wall uh, behind it. And if you tried to progress further past it, you would just get, you just get desynchronized and have a bad time. But I think I'm going to end the commentary here. I never like talking longer than I have to in these videos because it's just so forced to try to talk for 20 minutes. So uh, that's going to be it for me. For the rest of this video, um, we do a little bit of desert combat. I get absolutely destroyed. I go find a secret scroll and then I go explore a hidden area in the world where there is another RNG based treasure located. And I got like the worst luck ever because... The treasure was supposed to be at least a purple, and I got a blue item, from what I remember. And the guy, the guy holding, like he was like in the background, like guiding people how to play if they had questions at the at the PlayStation at the Ubisoft event. He's like, "Man, you have the worst luck ever. Uh, that's the first blue that I've ever seen someone pull out of that chest." I was like, "Yeah, it took me, it took me a full year to get a Galahorn. I know my RNG is absolutely terrible in terms of video games, but uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, 
enjoy me getting demolished in the desert. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will focus mainly on combat. I'm going to be talking about the combat, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, um, whether or not it's uh, well done. I uh, see I'm using an axe that I got from the dungeon. And I dedicated the entire episode to just combat because I think that's most that's the biggest thing that people are most concerned about. And yeah, do a full episode of that and I show you some less fringy fight gameplay and then what you're witnessing right now. There's definitely some people screaming at me in the comment box below. But oh well! Anyways, enjoy the rest. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you enjoyed this video, click thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time for some more Assassin's Creed Origins. As always, have a good last day! Must have had the Greek wine. Away.
see you dead. The who is? And nachte and bed. Forgive me. It's ta. Rabbit hits it. Yeah, yeah. Where has that been? Yeah, yeah. 